They want to create a slider in Elementor that can showcase anything you want, whether it's pages, video slides, cards, or even a contact form, you can make it happen. And the best part, you don't need any coding knowledge to do it. In this video, I'll show you how to slide anything in Elementor using a simple plugin. As Elementor Free doesn't come with a built-in carousel widget, we'll start by installing a free plugin to add this functionality. After that, we'll create custom slide templates, make this design fully responsive, and as a bonus, I'll show you how to enhance your slider with navigation buttons using a simple custom CSS code. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a sleek and functional slider that works seamlessly on any device. So let's get started. The first step is to install the plugin that will add a carousal widget to Elementor Free. Once you've found the plugin, click Install Now and then hit Activate. This plugin is completely free and adds the testimonial carousel widget that we'll use to create our slider. Oh, and if you have Elementor Pro, then you can skip this step entirely. All right, after activating the plugin, open the page you want to edit in Elementor. Now add a new container and set its padding to zero and width to full width so that it covers the entire screen. Next, go to the Elementor widget panel and search for testimonials. There are a bunch of different widgets that you can try out for your use case. But for now, I'll be using the testimonial carousel with rating widget and add it to the container we just made. To make sure we start with a clean slate and a slider that covers the entire screen, set the padding of the carousel to zero. Then go to the content options and delete all default content. And hide the rating and anything else that visible so you're left with a blank canvas. This will allow us to fully customize the designs of our slides. Now that carousel widget is set up, let's create our first custom slide. For this example, we'll design a slide featuring a video background with a text overlay. To do that, we need to create a template. I have got this slide already set up, so let's see how you can recreate it. First add a container here and then set the padding and margins to zero. Also, go back to the layout tab and set its height to 100 VH and width to full width so that it covers the entire screen. Now go to the style tab in Elementor, choose background type and select video. Open your media library, copy the link of the video and paste it into the background video field. This will set the video as the slide's background. Next, add a heading widget to the container for the slide's title. I'll quickly style it to make it stand out. And below the heading, let's add a text editor widget for the description. I'll just set it to this and customize the layout for mobile settings. But before that, whenever I do some design work for my clients, I make sure to add this free plugin called Airlift because, um, Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps things fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, let's switch to the mobile view in Elementor to make sure that the slide looks great on smaller screens. I'll adjust the padding, resize the text and tweak any elements as needed. You can do the same for your design as well. Now we have a slight issue at hand, the text isn't clearly readable over the bright colors. So to fix the readability problem, let's apply an overlay to the video background. I'll just click here, select a black background image and change the opacity from here. Once the design looks good, switch back to the desktop view, click on the top here and select save as template. Give your template a name and save it. With your first slide template saved, it's time to add it to the carousel. Head back to your WordPress dashboard and go to the save templates. As you see, I've created a bunch of different templates for my slides and you can do the same. You can even change the design to whatever you like. For example, you can create a hero section, contact form or even a section with multiple cards like this. Okay, now find the template you just created and copy the short code provided next to it. Once you're done, return to the Elementor page where we added the carousel widget. Paste the short code in the text field in the carousel settings. This will load your first custom slide into the carousel. 
All right, now set the slides to show and slides to scroll to one. This is because I want my slides to cover the entire screen and there shouldn't be any other slide in the view. If you want to show multiple slides in one screen, then you have to increase this number to three or more. For the navigation, I'll choose dots, which will add small indicators below the carousel to show users their progress through the slides. Next, head to the advanced settings and adjust the left margin to minus 4%. This will ensure that the slides align correctly within the container. If needed, you can also tweak the navigation style by increasing the size of the dots. I'll just set the arrows to the inside and changing their color to match your design. For the finishing touch, go to the custom CSS section in Elementor and paste this small CSS snippet here if you want to adjust the positioning or style of the pagination dots further. This step is entirely optional but can add a professional look to your navigation dots. To create additional slides, follow the same steps you used for the first one, open a new container, design the slide and save it as a template. Once you've created all your templates, go to save templates, copy their short codes, and paste them into carousel widget in Elementor. To do that, just click on this button to duplicate the slide and then change the short code here. After adding each short code, preview the carousel to ensure everything is displaying correctly. And as you can see, the slider is working perfectly. Finally, we need to make sure that the carousel is fully responsive. So switch to mobile view in Elementor and go to advanced settings for carousel widget. I'll adjust the VW values under container extra to fit the content within the screen width. Tweak the padding and margins as needed to ensure everything looks clean and aligned. If your design includes animations, then make sure to add the code for that to make the design work on smaller screens. Once you're happy with adjustments, preview the carousel on different devices to confirm it works seamlessly across all screen sizes. Let's preview the design. And yeah, everything works perfectly. You've just created a fully customizable, responsive slider in Elementor that can handle anything, from pages and blogs to videos and contact forms. It's sleek, functional, and works perfectly on any device. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.